No. Stand it. Stand it. No. That's Smokey's fault. Hi, everybody. I'm waiting for people to come in. This is a live stream. Live audience has me yelling at my dog who is stealing the other dog's ball. Typical. They're like little children and they fight. <laughs> Hi, Galena. You're number one. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> How are you doing, hon? I'm hating this heat. It's been so hot. I hate the cold. I hate the hot. Never happy. <laughs> you need a plaque. You do. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Kia. Humid. Oh, it's humid. It's hot. Hi, Kimberly. So we'll see how my internet behaves. I'll stream as long as it will let me. So we'll see. Um, I usually get one or two little near when I'm watching a stream. If it goes on too long, I will get disconnected from my live stream. So that happens. Um, we'll see what time it is and see if I can come back. So um, I was going to show you... Um, some haul I got. I think I'm going to, uh, I think, well, you've seen everybody playing with these, but I think I'm going to anyway, so I hope not to bore you. Um, I'm tired, so I'm going to do something easy today. I've been out all day, and I'm tired, so I'm going to do something easy. Hi, Elaine. So I've got a lot of my organizing done, thank God. Um, I still have a little bit to go, but I um, feel like I'm 98% there. It's been a couple weeks of organizing, and uh, it just takes time. <laughs> and I got to put my 12 by 12s in a binder, um, and... I'm trying to peel off old sticker labels off some of my containers, which are because now they are not what's in that container. Hi, Eileen. I really would love to figure out another thing to do with my stamps, but to be honest, I don't really think there is. Hi, AJ. Hi, Kia. Oh, he already said hi to Kia. <laughs> Had a busy day um, with foot doctors and went to the, my daughter's today. And my aunt met my dad so he could see her house today. And then we ran errands and came home and crashed fine crash i just sat watch just sat vegging for a little bit before i came on the stream it's just really hot outside and it just drains you oh thanks it's really hard to do all this and to take every everything you own i've gone through little tiny stuff to calendar pages to everything and the only thing i haven't done dug into would be the stamps, which I just don't think I have, you know, what I need. I would love to have something where I could flip through my stamps instead of laying in the, the carts um, and piles. And so I'm always having to pull them open and root and then pull up another drawer and root. And I mean, excuse me, I'm sure there's some in there I've not used in years because they get piled on top of each other. I would love to figure out. I'm sorry, but I'm burping. Um, I would love to figure out something with that. But I, I mean, I was watching the one video where she had custom cabinets put in and had drawers put in and all this stuff. And obviously, I can't do that. So I got to find some other solution. Just let the stamps be messy. Joycey says, 
Yeah, I guess like that. They're all in together. You know what I mean? So they're not like to where they're scattered. They're all together and all in one place. They're just, I just wish there was an easier way to flip through them and, and find them, you know, without digging. Oh, I remember I was like, oh, I think I have some steampunk stamps. I don't know. And I had to go rooting through trying to find them because they would have been on the bottom because I haven't used them in a long time. Hey, Dot. <laughs> you watching what I'm doing? <laughs> oh, gosh. So it's up to me. I got to figure something out. I think my 12 by 12s, putting them into albums will be a big help to uh, the 12 by 12, like scrapbook albums to flip through. I think that will help with them. Um, I, I've got all my sewing stuff in one room now and my stamps are all in one place, but the uh, all my doodads are now like in one place. Uh, it's been it's been a it's been a lot of work, but I found so many things I forgot I had, and also like I said, came across things I don't know why I bought either. <laughs> so it's been a, a little bit of both, but I feel the most organized I've ever been since I moved. Well, in years. I literally went through every single thing and it's a lot when you're going through sequins and doodads and little die cuts and I um, mean all these little things. I was like trying my markers out, seeing what markers work, what markers don't work. Oh, so, you know, I mean, that is time consuming when you start testing to see like I was keeping stuff that were dried out, taking up space, markers that were dried out things like that that I was storing and you worry about storing all of it and then you did no good so that's the other time consuming thing but for stamps and play hey Debbie yeah and that's that's true and I think the other thing I'm always fighting for is desk space like I'm always never have enough room when, especially when I'm streaming, like around me. And Tom's like, your desk space should always be immaculate. And I'm like, I'm not an office worker. I'm a, I'm a mixed media artist. Like it's going to be messy. Yeah. He thinks I'm like an office worker or something where they just have their computer and a couple things. Like I'm a, I'm a mixed media artist. It's never going to be neat, especially when I'm working. But I still want everything close by, but I don't, but I want space. So that's, that's really hard. You know, where you want everything within arm's reach, but you want to have enough workspace that you don't feel like you're, you're like, um, I spill stuff. I pile stuff on top of things. I lose my phone. I lose stuff. Like having the, the empty counter and keeping an empty counter. And, and so one thing I did is I added um, a, a four drawer, like skinny plastic drawer thing underneath the counter to put all of my glues and um, tapes and um, like gesso, uh, matte medium, um, that kind of stuff uh, right there under my desk right there. Because I did have all that sitting like on my desk and then the extra on a shelf. So now I have it in a drawer thing under the desk where I can just reach under. So it's near me but it's under me. And then I found a rolly cart I picked up at Michael's, a big, tall, skinny one. And that one is where I put like an assortment of paints and an assortment of pens, some of my new things I want to use. Um, and then that might rotate 
just so I play with the new stuff. So we'll see how this works. I think keeping my desk emptier is really would be helpful. I don't feel so overwhelmed to where I can't even find my phone because I just buried it. I can't find this or that because I just buried it. You know, it's very hard. Yeah. Oh, I well, believe me, <laughs> Joycey. I have gone. I know some stuff I bought when it was it was kind of the end thing, and then now it's not. And then so, or it was something I used to do, but don't do anymore. And I think that's part of it too, like weeding out the, I used to use these, but I really don't. And then also I bought it, I, some I have no clue why I bought. And then it makes you rethink your purchases currently when you go through everything you have. It makes you reevaluate your decisions. So that's a good thing. I, yeah, I think I will give you a tour. I'm almost ready. Gosh, to put on my 12 by 12s and albums, I bet that's going to take me four or five hours to do. No kidding. I, I have a lot of 12 by 12s. I have way more 12 by 12s than what I realized. <laughs> what I ever buy to stamp. Painter for your phone or napkin holder. Yeah, I do. Uh, I did do that. I put um, over. Yeah, see if I can loosen it. Um, sort of. Do you see? I put my phone over here on a this little thingy, and so I did that. And it's plugged in and charging. Yep. And because I keep losing my phone. And mostly because in case my kids text me is mainly why I have my phone nearby. So, or if someone calls me, I can quickly be like, I can't talk right now. But anyway, but I did do that. So I did, oh my, I took the camera. I did get a phone holder because I bury my phone continuously, which is annoying. Yeah, I'm trying to, to correct the things I'm doing wrong. <laughs> and that's been part of the process of thinking every little thing through so it's been it's been weeks of working on this because i sometimes i'm just like mentally draining i'm like i can't do this anymore i'm just too pooped so yeah sometimes it's because they're cute and it's phases you go through phases i mean i know i go through phases of of um different things I'm interested in and that and I think that's good because being a mixed media artist and then started as a scrapbooker going into mixed media artists be like I, that's why I have so many things and I think um, because you're mixed media artist, you do have a lot of stuff I don't specialize in just one thing but at the same time I need to I think the important part was the stuff I use all the time in this room and then like, I don't need the backups of Gesso or the backups of this or that. They can go off in the other room. You know what I mean? Like, cause I always keep extra matte medium or gel medium or glue sticks or, you know what I mean? You don't need to have them all here, you know? I mean, it's just silly. I, and sometimes I guess you just gotta get in a rut and you just kind of do things and you know, it takes, you just gotta rethink it, you know? And I do buy stuff because it's cute. Oh, I'm guilty. I'm so guilty of that. So I thought I'd show you guys. We are going to play with the new um, the new, uh, Maribu alcohol inks. I'm sorry if you're sick of watching people play with them. I know that there's several of us that have bought this set. I did buy the entire set. I bought an extra rainbow because um, that looked really cool. And... Um, uh, an extra, like, just uh, plain, uh, I bought a couple, a rainbow, and then, like, an extra little, um, oh, what do you call that thing? Um, extender, you know, I mean, extender, sorry. Been a long day. So, we're going to play with these. I did buy the wholesale and joggles. They had them for half off or whatever. I bought them through the link of that video that 
um, Eileen shared, the alcohol ink artist. She's really talented. So I did get the, um, I got the little um, art panels. I used her link for free. So I did get those with it. And then I did order these from Amazon. Oh, right here. Like, I mean, really, when I think about, I mean, in 50 years, how many, well, I'm crafting for 50 years. Let's say 40 years of crafting. Like, how many different phases I've gone through and different things I've done. You play with yours off camera and you're not overly impressed. Oh, don't tell me that. I have the whole set. Oh. So I bought these. Um, the one um, alcohol artist she's on uh, YouTube, she uses these little tiny brushes to manipulate disposable. So disposable to manipulate the alcohol ink. So if you want to do anything besides throw down the blobs, and she had a link in, uh, down below her video so you can give her credit and um, on Amazon, but like, so I bought these to try out because I have tons of other alcohol inks that Tim Holtz, obviously, so to use these with. I bought a couple new books. This one is the fun, this one's a fun book. Um, doodle dogs and sketchy cats. I, it just looks so cute and so fun. Um, I love all sorts of art, so <laughs> just everything doodle art, sophisticated art. I love all art, so I'm just gonna tell you right now, I love it all. So I don't specialize in any of it, I just love it all. So try to zoom in a little bit. Hey, CB. Isn't that cute? And I think that this would be fun because um, I don't know if this, it says it's fun and easy doodling for everyone. So my thought is kids and just beginners, you know. This made me think of Beth um, with all her little cats that she was making. And um, she, you know, she really enjoyed making her cats. And this is little you know, step by step outs to make cats and dogs and how to, to fill in their fur with lines. Um, hold on. I'm going to zoom down a little bit so you guys can see. Oh, hold on. My camera's loose. Hold on. Okay. And so that, you know, and she goes into details of how to fill in the fur with lines or with circles or do it how um, their hair grows. And my camera's not focusing. Great. Um, and then she goes into the layering. So it's, it's really cute if you're a beginner um, or you just want something simple and fun to play with. So changing, you know, the cat's perspective, adding some color, different face shapes, different eyes, different ears, different nose, different mouth. And then she goes into the body, upright, standing. So, I mean, it's really, I might be too close. Um, it, it is very cute, it is very thorough. It is very thorough. So if you're interested, okay, good connections. Okay, if you're interested, um, hi Janice, and something like this, it shows cute little uh, different tails, cute little paw positions, paw pads, basic paw. So I thought this book was adorable, and I love, um, I love all art. And I love all kinds of drawing, all kinds of art. I do not specialize on like I told you by. So when you watch my channel, you will see me doing a little bit of everything. I'm so sorry. I'm like all crooked and wonky here. I'm so sorry. I should have just left my camera alone. Okay. So. All right. Am I in 
space. I think I'm in line. I'm trying to make sure I'm in. So, okay. So then she goes into now anyone who's experienced in drawing, this would be like you wouldn't be interested in this book. This is strictly for beginners, drawing, and et cetera. If you're skilled, you would be bored to death with this book. So if you're skilled in drawing, just fast forward through the video. Um, I like that it shows the different faces of relaxed and calm and friendly and happy. I think it's like giving the, the cat uh, expressions, you know, surprised, alert, scared, intimidated, and how she even like did the body language. If you've ever owned <laughs> looking for your phone, that sounds familiar. I'm always losing my phone. I think it's she as a cat. I've owned cats before. So I think if you have a cat, you know they're different, you know, when they're intimidated, you know their body language and stuff. And I think it's neat that she took a, the things that if you own a cat, you see, and then put it into form. So cats and actions. I like the cats laying around. <laughs> um, adorable. Um just <laughs> some of these I think are just they're just cute. So yeah, cats playing, sketches, grooming, eating, cats relaxing. <laughs> um, I like this one, cats and weird places <laughs> and, and the washer going out the screen, head in a bag, sitting in a basket. I mean, she just probably took all the moments of her everyday cat, her cat behavior and documented and made it into a book. It's brilliant. It really is. Hi, Christy. And I think it's super cute um, idea here. She's looking into the fishbowl. This one's, you know, looking at a bug on the floor. This one, you know, is like, <laughs> it's like she's judging you. So um, this one's sitting on the cake box or, you know, yeah, they, we all, everyone posts pictures of cats doing the funniest stuff. Cats doing aerobics. Cats, uh, random cat situations. Um, hanging out, you know, groups of cats cats playing so I mean it's like she just basically watched her cat and then drew them and made them into a book and then she's got cats and people she's got cute little people here so if you want to learn to draw cute little girls with their cats so I like this one where the cat is sitting on top of the girl's head <laughs> this this book tickled me. I actually saw this at Michael's and I sat there giggling like a little kid looking at this. And I was like, this is a, so stinking cute. I've got to get this. But Michael's does not offer coupons on their books. Joanne's will. So I immediately went to my phone to look on Amazon. They had it and they had it, I don't know, $7, $8 cheaper. So I bought from Amazon, but because Michael's never lets you have discounts. But the cool thing was going to like Michael's or, or, or Joanne's or wherever and looking at the books, you, you have a chance to like look at every single page and decide where it's for you or not versus a couple pages that Amazon puts on there. But then if you do go to Amazon order because it's much cheaper, you know. So that's what I did. So I found it in Michael's order from Amazon. Uh, different types of cats, different breeds. Variations. Sketchy cats. These are cute. Um, these are yeah, the yoga girl stamps with drawn yoga cat or dog. Yeah, I mean, it'd be so cute. That's true. I mean, that's true, Joycey. I could do the yo the girl who was doing the yoga and then have um, have a cat with her. That's true. You could combine your stamps 
and your drawing and everything together. It doesn't have to be just drawing or just stamps. That's true, Joycey. I, that's, it's very true. Yeah, and I have too. I see we have ordered some books from Amazon that I was disappointed with once I got them. Um, it's that's why I said it's kind of nice if you would go out if you have a local bookstore to go to, see what they have, see if you like it, and then order at Amazon and get cheaper. But I found this on Michaels. I don't know if I was going through Amazon if I necessarily would have keyed in. When you go look at books on Amazon, I mean there's millions of them. I mean I would not. Put in there doodle cats and dogs i mean because i didn't know i was really wanting this i wasn't really looking for it you know that it, it just i happened into it um and looking at their books at michael's and then i was like oh my gosh this is so damn cute um like here's like you know little borders with the cats here's little frames with the cats uh, this is how this is kind of something that was in style probably a long time ago was like where you make the letters into the cats and stuff like that. Like, you know, where you carry the, uh, make the, I can't explain it. I'll show you when I get to that part. But basically here's cat, here's different cat characters. Now this, she almost used the emote. Uh, what do you think? I always get the names wrong. The things in your phone, the little faces. Um, okay. Okay, CB. Hi, Beth. You're going to want this book, Beth, I'm showing. This made me think of you when, uh, when I saw this. It's Doodle Dogs and Sketchy Cats. And it is so cute. And this made me think of you and all your cute little cats that you did. Um, I like that this is showing them, you know, kind of like, um, you know, angry and crying and bored. And this is kind of like using the faces on your digital stuff and then implementing it um, onto your cat. And it talks about here adding clothes to your cat. Beth added clothes to all her cats that she was doing. Um, this is cats in different poses. This is cats, you know with sentiments and saying things and expressions. Um, this one is the holidays, Valentine's. It's got some really cute um, examples of cute little costumes for <laughs> hair. You're good. I love, I love chickens and roosters too, Beth. Look. You know, you're going to start, when you start doing the rooster segment, I'm going to play along. Ugh, my camera's blurring. I'm going to play along. So I'm, I love chickens and roosters, and I want to draw those with you. But look, so here's a cat wearing a rooster costume. So there you go. So this has, I love lambs. Um, so this is like the Chinese zodiac, the rat, the horse, the sheep, the monkey, the tiger, the ox. So, I mean, just. The ideas are so stinking cute. You can use these on a tag, use them on a card. You can use these on an envelope, um, you know, wherever. I mean, or just put them in a book and just doodle away and have fun. Just, just enter. <laughs> is that fun? I mean, look at this. How cute is this? You know, like she has some really, you look at this and you're like, it's so simple and cute, but you didn't think of it yourself. Like the, the, not only she have instructions how to do step by step in the beginning, how to even draw cats and et cetera. She goes into showing you cute ideas that you would not have thought of. The, the ideas alone. Hi, Kathy. How are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. The ideas, the ideas alone makes this worth buying. Because it is just like, just so many cute ones. Um, this is showing little memos and party invitations um, ideas. And then she goes into, and it's a good page. These are calendar icons. So if you have a, if you're a planner girl, 
if you're a planner person, you know, you love planners, she goes in, you know, instead of buying all those stamps and stuff, you can do your own. How cute is this? I know it's blurry, and I apologize for that. But, like, if I can get my camera to focus, it would be really nice. Oh, so frustrating. Okay. So, like, you know, you can do, I got a haircut. I'm going to the spa, my dinner. Like, you can look how cute these are. Or ideas for your planner. So, you know, if you don't want to go out and buy all these, oh, I like this one. Payday! <laughs> oh, it's a thing cool in the heat wave, right, Kathy? The heat's awful. I think we're like 96 today. It's it's too hot to enjoy anything outside. After I got home, I filled up my bird feeders and came in and I was just drenched. I was just dripping with sweat just from a few minutes of standing out there and like I changed the, the bird bath water, put clean, cool water in there so the birds don't have water. Oh, so a daughter just texted me. Um, postcards, notebooks, she has a wear greeting cards. Now, this section is about dogs. Just if you're in, don't like cats, you like dogs. Again, like the book is good. So, she starts with dog basic, um, the dog basic ears, just like she did with the cat drawing. And so, I mean, she starts with all the basics. And basically, like uh, Dee Dee has talked about with um, shapes. When you're drawing, using triangles, circles, and squares, you know. So, um, again, she has all these little step-by-steps of different dogs. I love this. I love the bulldog. No, I just don't have the tongue sticking out. Oops, sorry. I'm off camera again. I love this book. I'm a kid at heart. Just saying. I'm a kid at heart. <laughs> to me, I mean, this is going to be so fun to play with. Um, this is shown again, um, a happy dog and, you know, and this talks about having the eyes narrow and the mouth open. And I mean, this is a sad dog. I don't want to, I would never do a sad dog drawing because I don't want my dog sad, uh, angry, apologetic, scared, surprised, playful. And I think that's important too, if you're drawing them, like you give your, your, your little cats or dogs, you know expressions you know uh how the you know what you're trying to uh give off with your sketch you know just like you know happy whatever so um this goes into standing dogs side views of dogs uh sitting side view sitting walking <laughs> This is what I like here with the walking. And <laughs> she leaves the little trails of hair. <laughs> because, well, mine leave trails of hair. She leaves little trails of hair. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They would be adorable on cards. You could totally make this, like, if you wanted to, like, cheer someone up <laughs> and... Like these cards are so, these would make great cards for somebody. Cheer someone up. Here's a dog lying down. Here's a dog tail with his tail wagging. So it's basically shows you how to draw the dog and how to do the lines here, which emphasizes it's wagging its tail. And here's a dancing dog. There you go. There's a Zumba dog. So um, this, again, a running dogs, jumping dogs. Startled dogs, dogs who are playing. They like chasing a butterfly. Dogs that are here, they are eating with their bowls, relaxing, sniffing. I never would have thought to actually draw them sniffing. I uh, keep going off camera. I'm so sorry. Sniffing, um, yawning. Oh my gosh. I have yawned, and then my dogs see me yawn and then they yawn 
yawning is not only catching to to pe person to person. If they if I yawn and they see me, my dogs will yawn. I'm telling you, yawning goes like they yawn if I see me yawn, and it's catching even that way, which I think is funny. Sleeping dogs. Hi, Linda. Uh, the the yeah the humidity just. Kathy, this, the humidity makes it a million times worse. I mean, it does. Uh, you get out there and you're just dripping. You're just dripping from the humidity alone. Now, the difference between the dogs and the cats is they have a dog house. Um, they have a little dog. Here's a little dog accessories. Um and uh this is the dogs they look this if you like this this is a dog from page 78 this is the dog house from page 88 and i like that she put these together and then she made references to what page these dogs were on so you can go back and look at how she drew them so i thought that was really cool that she even like these dogs were on 85 and 86 and 78 like she really made this um I'm going to raise this up because I can't stay in camera. And I, I'm just like moving my book in circles. I'm so sorry. Um, we have, um, here's small dogs, dash hounds, a Pekingese, a Chihuahua, which I miss my little Chihuahua, toy poodle, pug, Shih Tzu. I can't pronounce it. It's all the different dogs, a Yorkie, a Schnauzer, Pomeranian. Here's my Jack Russells right here. Jack Russells. A Maltese. My daughter, she liked to get a Maltese. A Beagle, Japanese Shen. She goes through. Here's medium dogs. Corgis, Terriers. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Collie, Dalmatians, Sheepdog. Again, not going to try to pronounce it. So you can see whatever dog or cat or dog you have, like it's in here. Like here's all then here's all the large breeds. And then she goes through doggy borders, like she did the cat borders. And then um, the alphabets. And this is what I was talking about. I thought, was there a cat alphabet? Wait a minute. Did I pass that up? I mean, maybe not. Okay. Here's the dog alphabet. And again, she goes through cards and occasions. And um, look. <laughs> look, she made this. Here's the dog. And it's an artist dog. I'm so drawing this one. Check this out. This is cute. Like, I like that she made it like a hippie. A hippie poodle dog that you know kind of hair <laughs> that's the artist i love that um the athlete the lady oh look at that the lady the mother chef doctor so you can even do it for you know i like she has careers and and different things the traveler the sailor the baker i mean it's just the ideas in here well, if you're like good at drawing and this is like way too like simple for you, like you could still take some of these ideas and make it into um, a, a real looking and dog or cat. So it's still cute. They're like it's raining outside. Um, yeah, so I think that these are all good for cards. If you're going to send someone cards, you know, like I'm sorry, you know, stuff like that. So. Again, she uses them in planners and books. Um, she puts like the cute little things on her envelope. She's showing here with tags, cards. Like I said, I think the the idea, the ideas. Oh, and in the back here, are all the artists. This is not one person. I guess I'm wrong. These are all the artists who came up with these. So you could then. Google these artists and probably find them on Instagram and stuff and follow them. So love this book. So 
the other book I got is the opposite, the total opposite of that one. <laughs> so this is more like a Kathy Arbor book. <laughs> Kathy Arbor is very, 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 very talented. So what I want to get from this I, is what I want to learn to do is to sketch a horse. And I mean sketch without all this filling in. This is more like at the Arbor and Dee Dee. Like this is skill. So what I reason why I bought this because I'm obviously not at that skill level. I bought this because I want to learn how to sketch horses. And I think that this goes step by step how to sketch horses and even if i can get to where i can start and i can do this and i can do this i will be elated just to be able to do these two things so i know i that this is a, is someone who practices drawing and has years of experience but my goal is to be able to do this and then to be able to do this and just again like i don't expect to do I love that here's the horse and then she starts off here's the outline here's the shading and then uses a stomp and she goes into how she does each one like this I might be able to do later so this is really neat book on horses so she has the the picture reference the sketch the dark values the midtones all the way up to finishing it so i i totally love this whether i could ever do this or not is another thing but you know you gotta start somewhere so i that's why i said i love everything from simple to elaborate i love it all so you're gonna find that out i mean i just like can't help it here's how to do the horse's eyes so this is something Dee, Dee could do and in my heartbeat I probably will not be able to do this, but if I can do this and I can do this, I'll work towards it, you know, so that's where you, you know, that's where you have to, you have to start somewhere, right? Because you, when you don't have, if not practiced, you're not going to be able to go and do this, like, boom, you know, without practice, but I can do this and do this and start with this. You know, if I'm happy with this and that's it, then that's as good because I'm still happy because I sketched a horse. You know what I mean? I I love that she is step by step of dark values, medium values, you know, uh, details, highlights. Like she really, if for a beginner or if you are not a beginner and you want to learn to do this, this book is really nice. Again, like I saw this book at. Um, Michaels. Thanks, Kathy. She's so sweet. I got this. Oh, Linda, you guys are so nice. Hi, Tanya. It's like, a, I saw this at Michaels again. They never run them on sale, but it was nice to flip through it and then uh, ordered it on Amazon afterwards. These, the Kathy, um, it's a uh, I mean, just like these are the different breeds of horses. Okay, so, and that makes sense. So here's all the different breeds. So if there's one in particular you like or whatever. This one she goes into, she uses oil and acrylics. And then she shows, she shows you exactly what she uses, uh, used to paint. Now she didn't, these are just showing you the colors that she used. Here you go, zebra. And then she goes into harder stuff like this is portraits. Again, like this is her reference photo. Like if I can do this reference, if I can do this, I will be thrilled. You, I mean, just to be able to, to sketch this would make me happy right here. Because I, you know, I have... I have, uh, I know my skill level, and what I can and can't do. I will be thrilled just to be able to do this. And I don't mean I could trace this, right? But I want to be able to, to draw it. So anyway, then she goes into establishing the form. And then here's the, the color mixture. She has a list of what she used up here. And this, look how she goes into every step. To make this, this is realistic stuff. So then boom, boom, boom. So this is then the realistic painting 
when she has step by step and exactly what she uses. And I like how she shows this. So this is a really good book if you're interested in learning to draw or sketch or paint horses. So it's it's a it's a great book. Hi Teresa, if I didn't say hi. Right, exactly. Like I, I just might I know my youngest, she's gonna have a farm and she is going to have horses. So she will because she's been saying that since she was a kid. So and she's working towards that now. So I know that will have that she's going to do that. We always um our family is from um southern way down southern Kentucky. So there's a lot of that like running through our veins. <laughs> We like this stuff. Um, here is to do a thoroughbred <clears throat> foul, a baby, which is awesome. And again, like step by step. So if you are uh, want to learn, you can. And I love this book. I, I always love, as you know, like if you're watching my videos, I love anything that's step by step by step. Because there's nothing better than someone who's learning to have this at your fingertips and and it takes up the whole page like these like the whole page is devoted to what she did and she goes into details i love the there's no um here's one uh moving and prowling or prancing and there's a stand-up horse and oh the donkey gotta love donkeys <laughs> you know um she gets all the way down but this is just a pencil sketch that might be easier and there's another horse and there's the other horse and like i said you go through and she has step by step so if you're interested in learning like for my case if i can learn to do some basic sketches i will be thrilled thrilled just to do this or this so that's the other book i bought told you it's the complete opposite of this i love all art so <laughs> i'm not partial um there's my other book my other. i have one more book hold on let's show you where is it okay all right here's the other book i bought and again i saw this at michael's and bought from amazon but again, it's just nice to be able to flip through the book. This is so, this would be so fun. I think you would like this one, um, Beth, too. Besides the dual one, this is acrylic animals um, and vibrant colors. So this is kind of like the other, I like the folk art that I like. This kind of reminds me of that with all the bright and pretty colors. So this, she goes in the artist talk about her favorite subjects of paint or animals and the tools you need. Um, let me back up. Uh, well, I don't want me on there. Stuff you need. And look, here's a rooster, Beth, because I know she's going to do roosters. So she talks about doing the wash, the underpainting, blocking in the color. This is the steps to all of her things, the dry brushing, stippling, um, and, pa and pasta, which is basically adding um, any sort of paste to give a texture, collaging. She adds all those things go into all of her paintings. Look at the rooster. Seriously, look how fun he is. With the turquoise and the green. Oh, I love this guy. So goes in the boring color wheel stuff. Oh, I hate when they do that. And this is her reference. And look at this kitty. Yeah, Beth, the rooster's good. We're going to have to do like, you know, I want to do some rooster art with you. Here's the kitty. And look how she took this. And look how she did like the doodle flowers behind her and a fun green background with all this. Like, such inspiration. I love this. And then they, this is the stuff that Dee Dee talks about as well as doing the grid to help you do your own dog, do your own pet, uh, proportions, etc. So 
Um, then she has um, a dolphins, and this is a step-by-step -step for dolphins that she does. Look at the splashes. Look how fun this is. This is one of the projects in the book. Here's the rooster project. So here it is. So here's the rooster project. Step-by-step, step, look at this. Oh, look at him. Love it. Oh, the cow. It is. That's what you need. When you're a beginner, like if you're if you're advanced, you would be bored to death with this book. This is strictly for beginners and intermediate people. And also just you want to learn, you want to do something different or fun. If you're advanced. Just fast forward through the video. <laughs> this is not an advanced channel, so um, so here is here is the cow. You see that? Okay, so she sketches the cow, and then she goes through step by step. Look at I love cows, chickens, horses. I love all this stuff. Here's the cow. Here's the finished cow. How cute is this? I think this is like an acrylic painting that most anyone can do when you have the step-by-step -step directions. Here's the cat that was in the front. And so I think we're going to do is we're going to do some painting. Here's a raccoon. Oh, look at the raccoon. Yeah, the rooster and the cow, right, Linda? Right, and that's with me too, Beth. So we're learning together, right? This book is great. So I just say those things because I want to make sure that anyone who is advanced, you know, would be bored with the video can fast forward, you know. So but if anyone who's, you know, wants is wants to learn, say so if you are, you just want to do something different. I mean, this is fun. Look at this. We could do a giraffe. We love. Where's uh, Where's Lori? <laughs> You can see a giraffe. Look at the giraffe. Lori would like the giraffe. I love the gray background behind them. Um, oh, there's a llama. Look how cute. Little teeth. Oh, elephant. Now here she has you actually paint some paper with the paint you're going to use and tear up the paper. So you're going to actually sketch it do this and she says brown although this looks gray but you're going to do this and then you're going to actually paint some paper tear some paper up and put paper on them and then go in with your paints and have some paper some paint uh, on this one so I think that that's neat too it's something different so it's not all paper it's not all paint it's paint and paper to do this elephant and she goes into, um, you know, how to add wrinkles and stuff like that to uh, to the elephant. And look at the finished product. Look at this. It's like, and I think when you're doing a half, it's easier to draw too. When you're only, you don't have to worry about the ears being symmetrical and the eyes. I think when you're doing a half, it almost makes it easier. We could do a flamingo for Eileen. You love trying all kinds of arcade. Oh. I'm sorry, Kathy. Anything I'm saying, Kathy, is nothing. I'm hoping I don't sound like I'm being rude. I'm so thank, glad you're here. I just don't want people who are bored and, and, and further advanced to be bored with my stream. I know that you're sweet and awesome, and I know that you like all art. Kathy can do anything. So I miss seeing your videos. I know you're doing all your gardening right now. We're going to do, we should do a flamingo just for Eileen. A green flamingo. Yeah, see, it's a green flamingo. Maybe this would be okay for Eileen, right? Okay, never bored. Okay, I'm glad you're not. I want everybody to have fun when they come to my channel. <laughs> the name of the book, this is called... Colorways Acrylic Animals, and this is by Megan Wells. This 
I I mean, as soon as I saw the cow, I was like, I gotta get this. Ah, oh, love, I love it. But then I was like, Eileen, it's a green flamingo. It's green. What more do you want? <laughs> There's a panda. Ooh, it's a panda with lots of little dots. He's like sad. I don't think I would want a sad. I think I'd have to have a smiling panda. I don't like sad animals. I don't like anyone being sad. This one, here you go. This is right up our alley, Beth. Okay, this one is. This is a mixed media fox. Okay, so so this one she uses lace. Uh, she uses Japanese lace papers. Uh oh, where's Kathy? We need to find Japanese lace papers or Eileen. We need a link. I've never heard of Japanese lace papers. Um, and you'll a whole pl plethora of options at your fingertips. So she wants you to grab napkins and papers. Here you go, Joycey. All of our stuff to make this box. So we're going to, this, this one to be super fun. Look, she's using tissue paper and stamp paper and book paper to do the background. Bubble wrap. And then she probably then takes, uh, what she use, a dark pencil, white paint pen. Or you could use chalk. And then you could use chalk and then draw. Then, then you do your box on the top of the papers. And then you start filling in the fox on top. And then when you get done, here's this fox with this cool background of mixed media. See how like fun this is for like all different, uh, a, you know, styles and where you're at. Jerry sells it. Do you own it, Eileen? Do, did I find something you don't own yet? What was it called? Japanese lace papers. <laughs> that, Joyce's yelling, not me not to spend any more money because I was complaining about all my organizing and to use my onion papers and not to buy the Japanese lace paper. <laughs> you would do every one of these? Isn't it neat? I mean, it's just really fun. I think that I agree. I, I, I'm interested in probably all of them, but the panda. The panda did not appeal to me a whole lot. Like, I don't know. I definitely don't want a sad panda. I don't like sad. I try to keep upbeat and happy. So I would not want to do a sad panda. And I don't know if I like the panda. I like everything else. I don't know if I like all these, like, crazy dots. It's too, too, too. Uh, this is not my, I think, everything but that. Look at the pug. Oh, it's like my Paco, who's part pug and part chihuahua. Yeah, so, and this in the back is about, here it is. If you want to look, she's on Instagram. Let me see if I can get my camera to focus for two seconds. There it is. She is at makewells on Instagram and www.makewells.com. To visit her website. Look how cute she is. Got her purple glasses. I like her glasses. So this, I knew you would love this book, Beth. I knew this is like, like right up rally. This and the, um, and the doodle, doodle cats and dogs. I knew these would be. This is just something that I personally want to do. I would never do this on stream because I would be really bad at it and it would take me forever to do this. These are, this is something.